Good morning and welcome to Rose Red Homestead. Jim found a fabulous buy on guess what? Pineapples. These were at Smith's Grocery Store, which is a national chain, 97 cents. He was in another store today, they were $3.99. And so we are going to can some pineapple today. You know, the great thing about having the skills to know to can and whether or not we water bath or pressure can and that we can go right online and check the USDA recipe for canning pineapple, it is a great skill and it allows us to take advantage of great sales when we um, find them. And so that goes directly to self-reliance and of course because we're canning it is uh, food security. So we're going to get started on water bath canning pineapple in just a moment. When doing pineapple, a couple of things. Um, you need a gadget from my perspective, and this is a little uh, corer, a corer and slicer, and I'm going to demonstrate that in just a moment. You need to work on a, a sheet pan uh, because there's a lot of juice involved, and I want to capture that juice. I don't want it to go everywhere. And I'm already splattered because I've done nine out of the ten. I'm going to be showing you the last one here in just a moment. And then the other thing is. Um, about cleanliness. Now I've washed my hands just now and uh, I've washed this pineapple because it's going to go right on the sheet pan where some of the juice is going to go and I want it to be clean. So I just have a regular knife and I'm going to cut the top off about a half an inch down from the top and then that exposes where the core is right there and we've all seen that before if we've ever opened up a pineapple. Okay, now, in order to get this little tool to work, it has kind of a zigzag of the edge, a, a teeth uh, along this um, edge, and then it acts as a blade. This little hole right here acts as a blade. And so you place that right over the hole, and I like it because this is clear and I can see right down in there. And then I'm going to fasten the handle, and because I'm short, and I need a better angle, I'm going to be standing up right here. So you don't need to watch my face, just watch the pineapple. So um, I'm going to be turning this, and as it turns, the cylinder goes right in over the core. And then once you get this started, it's a little easier. And depending on how thick you want your slices, you push down a little or you push down a lot. And so I'm pushing with all the strength that I can have, which at my age isn't a lot. I've noticed my muscle strength is waning year by year. I used to lift 80 pound bee boxes full of honey, but no more. And then you just turn this and turn this and that juice is oozing out over my hand. It's a sticky, juicy job. And then when I get close to the bottom, I turn it on its side so that I can feel when this gets to the bottom and I can still push. Okay, I'm feeling it. And it's getting easier. Then when it gets very easy to turn, not quite yet. Okay, there it is. And then I can just turn it like that, you know you've reached the bottom. Then I put it over on its side, another reason for wanting to wash the pineapple. And then you just pull this out. It creates a vacuum sometimes and is a little hard. There's a lot of juice in here and I am saving the juice because I want to can with as much juice as possible. Then I just pull the handle off here, turn this upside down and pull the pineapple off. I mean, is that slick or what? I love gadgets like this. Now, I am doing chunk pineapple, so I'm just simply going to cut down through here. All the way around. Okay. 
this is such a great addition to our shelf that I think Jim has to go into town today to grade some exams. I think he's going to check at the store and see if there's still some, and we're going to get ten more, maybe. I'm just now cutting out some eyes that didn't quite get cut. That's pretty good. Okay, so now this goes right here in this pot, and we're following the USDA recipe exactly. So now what we need to do is we need to add enough syrup. Now this has quite a bit of its own juice. If you look in the pan, you can see that it's coming up clear to here. And that's just with natural juice. And so I just need to fill up the top so that the water or syrup, I am using a light syrup, which is what I prefer. And I already have made that over on the stove. This is my handy dandy little butane stove that I like to now cook on right here so we can be under the lights instead over there where it's a little bit dark. And um, it takes just a, a, a canister of butane that I now have to lock in place. And then I'm just now going to swing it around and light it. So there it's lit. And then I'm gonna put this pan on the top. And I need to now go get my syrup. The syrup is over on the stove and it is a light syrup. I followed the recipe in the USDA guidelines for a light syrup. Uh, some of the pineapple was sweet, some of it was a little bit tart, so I'm kind of um, evening it out because I don't want it over sugared. I think this is about eight, eight cups of water and one cup of sugar. And it was boiling just a moment ago, so I'm gonna add that here. and it didn't quite take all of it to get all the way to the top. This gives me some extra if I need it when we're ready to put them in the jars. Now, according to what the USDA says, we need to let this boil together for 10 minutes. The purpose of that is to heat up the pineapple, make sure that it is hot all the way through, that the syrup is hot, and then we will put it hot into the jars we are going to water bath can it for 20 minutes, according to what processing times are for our elevation, which is 5,000 feet. Now, I just have a big pot, big tall pot over on the stove. The water is simmering, that's where we're going to put it. Um, because I don't do any water bath canning in any of the electric pots. I, it's a waste of my time. It's so much quicker just to do it right on my stove in one of my already existing pots. Right now I have two other canners going, so this is the only option for us right now. So we will be back after this has boiled for 10 minutes and we're ready to get it into the jars. It's been boiling for 10 minutes and we are now ready to go ahead and can it. Now I did want to let you know that this little butane stove is okay for using in your kitchen. Uh, we just do double safety, so we have a couple of things open. It's, I'm going to move this over here now. It is... Um, I should have turned that flame off first, but I didn't. Okay, um, even though it is safe, we use a couple of safety features. We always keep something vented. And then I always have this little um, monitor right here for carbon monoxide, and it will tell us if we're in any kind of trouble. Now I think my canner is only gonna hold about six of these pints, so that's, we're gonna do six at a time. And then I'm just going to keep refilling that water. I'm going to use the same water over and over and just uh, keep filling it when it gets low. And we will... Um, I'm getting splattered, of course. USDA says half an inch of space. So that's about half an inch. So we will keep just refreshing the water. I keep some all the time on the, uh, in the tea kettle, so that will help us. Very hot. All right, I'm just going to check for air bubbles. Now this is just a wet paper towel. No vinegar needed because no meat or oil here. these in the canner right here. 
I'm, and it isn't a canner, it's just one of my big pots, and I'm going to cover over the top of the jars with about an inch of water, and then I'm going to turn the heat up. The water is simmering right now. Once it comes to a nice rolling boil, I'm going to start the timer for 20 minutes. When that's done, then I'll take them out and put another batch in. So we will come back when we have all of these pineapple canned. All right, the big pan just finished. And just as soon as we shut the video off to wait and let these cook, I realized that I had another big pan. And so I canned seven more, and it is only about three minutes behind the first pan. And so now the second pan is ready as well. So I'll bring these over. All right, these are beautiful. There's the last one. And we got um, 14 pints out of 10 pineapples. Now this pint right here is mostly juice. It probably has maybe 10 little pieces of pineapple in the bottom, maybe not quite that many, but I thought, why the heck not? Just can up the whole thing and we'll have a little bit of extra pineapple juice. So this has been a spectacular experience. This is the first time I have ever canned pineapple and it has turned out great. This will be wonderful. Oh, I did, they just are popping all over the place. Um, these will be wonderful to have on our food storage shelves all through the winter so that we can enjoy yummy fresh pineapple. So thank you for joining us and I think Jim is going to go after some more so I'll be doing a repeat of this sometime later this week. We won't video that but anyway um, we need to get our shelves stocked for our year's supply of pineapple and that takes 26 pints for us. So thank you for joining us and we will see you at our next video.